Yo! That sounded pretty good. What's up, everybody? Cardboard Moses, would you welcome? It's time to go ahead and do another case of Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition. PYT number two. Come on down. And as always, good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. Thank you. All right. the thing on the screen there so let me change that has there been any of those Otani kanji autographs hit yet because when those things come out oh my god the price for it is gonna be ridiculous let's make it happen Kanji Auto Incoming. <laughs> what is it, Josh? Oh, I can't check that right now. I'm working, I'm working. Start off with this box, and I'm going to use Abraham to heat up the boxes there. All right, now I'm curious about what you sent me. I got to approve it, though. I got to approve it, though. Oh, the Bregman. Yes, uh, veteran paper does not ship. Rookies inserts and all that stuff does, but veteran base paper does not ship. I repeat, veteran paper base does not ship. All right? It is in the description of the break there. It says it in bold and everything. Let's see a super. Let's see something crazy. Rookie number, of course, rookie number. Anything rookie ships. So, parallels, of course, ship. Autographs, of course, ship. Uh, yeah, parallels of paper ship. Veteran paper does not. Yeah, and it really does. Veteran paper does clog up the shipping lanes. Instead of being on the left lane, you know, we're, we're stuck on the on the merge lane where people just don't know how to merge. Or maybe that's a Florida thing. I don't know. I can only imagine California traffic is pretty ridiculous too. By the way, Tomas, did you? I know you hung out with James for a little bit. You know when you gave him the stuff, his stuff anyway. But did you hang out with him at all after that? All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got. Uh, Greg Dykeman to four ninety nine for the A's. That of course will ship. 
Congrats on the uh, Otani Super Factor that you're going to play. Oh, damn. Mario calling that Super Factor. Dude, that would be so insane if I pulled that shit. That's uh, like a $60,000 card. I mean, only the entire sports card world would hear about Rip City cards. Only, only everybody. Have you on ESPN? Oh, my God. That would be crazy. Could you guys imagine? Cardboard Moses. That would be Sports Center top 10 right there. The top play. Top play. Uncle Jesse pulling that super fractor. Otani. That'd be awesome. Uh, Matt Sauer, first Bowman auto for the Yankees. Yankees striking first. Ah, gotcha, Tomas. Yeah, I was hoping you guys could, like, you know, would link up and chill or something. I don't know. Jason Martin, a four ninety nine. Paper for the Pirates. Oh, you already know, Tomas. It's going to be squeak, squeaky clean. No cursing. It's going to be rated G for for Gangster. So that everybody can, can see it on ESPN. I like these birthday Bowman cards. Pretty cool. Cool looking. I still don't know why they throw all this paper in here, but eh. at least it's a it's a slick design. I'll say that much. I do like the the design of it. But so many paper. Matt Sauer again. We got a Yankee box here, apparently. A Sauer box. Matt Sauer numbered to 250 for the Yankees. So can anybody explain to me what is going on with Ronald Acuna's arm there? Is that like, does he have like a little baby arm? I mean, what's what's the deal? There's an Otani base paper for the Angels. Need to see some ink on that Otani. It's a wrist, it's a mitten. How do you how do you even hit with that thing? I had never seen that before. I thought he had like a baby arm or something. He's just and he's shy about it. I thought, thought he had a little shot queen a uh, shot queen Griffin you know going on. Uh, Brewer base cards. Well, sorry, Michael, but we don't ship veteran base. We do not ship veteran base. Veteran paper base, to be specific. Everything else will ship, but not the veteran paper base. It's way too much. Trust me, you don't... You don't you don't want all this paper base. I know you're probably thinking that you do, but once you get it, you're like, oh, uh, fuck, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> and another Otani paper base for the Angels.
Glay Bear got called up. Is his stuff going for crazy moolah? Josh, we got a we got a long way to go, Josh. We got a long way to go. We're gonna be here for probably another hour. Easy. Easily another hour. Because I got I gotta go through these a little a little carefully. A gold sour too? Wow man. A sour box for show. This one's numbered to fifty. Cray. There's been a Yankees box so far. Yeah, I gotta go through these kind of carefully because some of these cards do stick. So I gotta be a little extra, extra with them. A little, little extra touchy feely. Alright, we are missing an auto so we got two autos so far can we go for the maybe the sour trifecta the hat trick that would be insane three of the same dude in one box Craig well splitting up that monotony Jose Adoles Garcia first Bowman autograph for the Cardinals there you go Boosh. All right, that's one down. A sour box with a with with a, with a hint of Garcia. All right, let's see now if we can get us an Otani box. What up, two card Arsenal? How are you, my good sir? All right, watch Abraham heat these boxes up here. What up, two card arsenal? Rockets wrap it up tonight. I hope so, cause then they're gonna run into that Pelicans buzzsaw. I think that's who they play, right? Pelicans play winner of Rockets Timberwolves. Oh, rah rah. What would I do without that 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 sarcasm? Pelicans play Golden State. Ah, got it. So that means the Rockets would play the Jazz. Ooh, that could be an interesting matchup. Am I selling personal jumbo boxes? Negative, Edgar. Negative. Uh. Don't have any personal boxes of Bowman, but let me ask just in case. Okay, see, is not out of it. I mean, I don't know what that series is looking like. I want to say the Jazz are up 3-1. Fear the beard. Again, I I don't trust it until listen. I'll tell you what. Like I told you before, two car arsenal. I believe the hype once they're raising that that trophy in the air. Once they got the Larry O'Brien ho hoisted in the air, then I'll believe the Rockets hype. Until then, no. Yeah, Bowman, Bowman, 
Bowman is the equivalent of crack. This is true. Studies have shown. Ooh, Josh Barnes. Why, why, why you gotta, why you gotta, why you gotta resort to that, sir? That's not even cool. That's not even cool, man. When was the last time your team won a championship? Huh? Anyway, this is box two. Let's make it do what it do. Alex Jackson a 150 for the Braves. Nice looking card. Fear the beard. When the beard gets to the finals again, then we can talk. When Chris Paul gets out of the second round, then we can talk. Until then, mm, the Rockets not buying that hype. Brendan McKay. Autograph for the Rays. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, back, man, the Supersonics, I don't think the Supersonics won a championship either, actually. So, yeah, Josh, next time the Thunder win a championship, then talk to me, all right? Uh, Brendan McKay, autograph for the Rays. That's a nice card. That's a nice card. Brendan McKay is little baby Otani. So far, this box off to a good start. What up, Garfster? You know, we don't have that many people hanging out on breakers. Uh, usually we have people hanging out over on YouTube, baby. Supersonics won a championship in '79. Re I didn't really. I didn't. I didn't know that. I didn't think they had won a championship. That's awesome, though. Uh, to 499, Jonathan Shoop for the Orioles. Ooh, Garfster. Let's talk some shit. So, what are your teams, Garfster? What are What are your teams? Yeah, Breakers Breakers is not the greatest, but usually people hang out on, on our YouTube stream. Oh, the Pistons. Okay, well, I can't really talk too bad about the Pistons. Bad Boy Pistons were a really fun team to watch. Uh, but don't don't disrespect the Heat, Garster. Don't disrespect the Heat. I don't I don't I don't go to your job or you know whatever and like shit on your dreams do I Joey Wentz for the Braves oh and you're a Lions fan oof well we're kind of on the same boat I'm a Dolphin fan you're a Lions fan we're both terrible but at least my Heat team made it to the playoffs this year what about the Pistons What's going down here? Need one more auto. Bowman, I'm going to need you to heat up and like in a hurry. Brendan Rodgers, the 250 Rockies. Well, listen, if you're a Philly, if you're a Sixers fan, you can talk all the crap you want about the Heat, for sure. Anybody else, if you don't have at least three championships, you can't sit at this table and discuss this, all right? What else do we do? That Sixers team is scary, though. I said it from the beginning of the playoffs, like before the playoffs even started. That is the one team in the East that I did not want to face. And sure enough, well, look who we got. It's the fucking Sixers. Francisco Mejia, 150. What is it? The Atomic for uh, the Indians? Uh, 
Arthur. <laughs> so you guys are just going to pull up seats to the table and sit regardless? Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Edgar, what's your team? Five championships. What is that? The Spurs? Am I understanding that correctly, Edgar? There's an Otani paper base for the Angels. Need some ink on you, sir. The Lakers. Oh, dude, the Lakers have like, dude, the Lakers, you can't even, you can't even use, look at this. All right. In basketball, if you're a Laker fan or a Celtics fan, you probably weren't even alive to see them in their heyday. And if you were, kudos to you. But, like, those are two of the original franchises. Both those teams have been around for, like, almost 100 years. Whereas my Heat have been a franchise for 30 years, and we got three championships. Some franchises have been around for more than 50 years, haven't even reached the finals. So, I think, I think, my, I think my boys are doing pretty good. A Rosario autograph for the Mets, not numbered, but pretty nice. The Suns, I think that's one of the franchises without a championship. So you, you can't sit at my table, Arthur. But you can pull up a chair if you want. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll let you in for free because you're my boy. The Reds were founded in 1869. See, baseball, that's a whole other conversation. You know, as a Marlin fan, we've been a franchise for about 30 years, too. Two championships. You know, there's there's franchises out there that have been around for twice, maybe three times that haven't even been to the World Series. And then there's the Dolphins. But we're not going to talk about the Dolphins. All right, all right. I think that's it for this box. Let's see if we can maybe get a parallel out of this thing, maybe. I'm gonna have to agree with you, Michael. I mean, baseball's been around for I don't know how long. Same with soccer, man. So some of those records are like, wow, you know? Cal Quantrill to 499 Padres. Like, I can't wait till the World Cup starts, man. It's a shame that the USA men's team doesn't have a spot in the World Cup. But, you know, they dug that hole for themselves, man. The women's national team is the best in the world. So how could the men's side be lagging behind so much? And it's it's because we, we just don't like soccer here in the States. We just don't. Whereas the rest of the world, man, soccer is God. You know, pe people were playing soccer with coconuts and fucking rocks and shit back in the day. That's that's all you need to play soccer. Is 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 some feet and a ball, or, or a ball shaped, you know, thing. Garfter, what what's your uh, what's your beef with soccer, man? When when did did soccer pee in your fucking in your Cheerios this morning or something? Your wife is Latina and has your sons playing that BS. Well, Garfster, I mean, what would you rather have? What would you rather have your kid playing, man? Football, where I mean, I'll agree, it's not a man's sport compared to like football, where you got to be mentally retarded to play that sport. Oh yeah, let me run full speed and tackle this guy and get fucking brain damage and then die when I'm like forty-five years old. Because I lost my mind. Yeah, sure. 
I'll glad I'll pick up Sissy Sport over that any day, Garster. Baseball? Now, now we're talking. Baseball. Now that's that's the gentleman's game right there. Now, if you want him to play a real sport, if you're talking about sissy shit, have him play fucking rugby. If you think football is for a man, rugby is for the gods. Rugby is football without all that pussy pad bullshit. Oh, he's too soft for that. <laughs> Well, at least, at least you know. How old, okay, how old is your son, though? Because I'll tell you what, man, when I was eight years old, I was a little bitch. But then, once, once I discovered, you know, titties, and my balls dropped, man. Different story. Oh, he's, ah, man, he's still a little baby, Garfster. He's still a little baby. Plus, I don't, I don't think he'll be complaining, Garfster, when he's making fucking hundreds of millions of euros playing overseas, paying for all your shit. Nah, I don't think it'll be much of a sissy sport then, huh? Listen, we all remember that first time we discovered some titties. Everybody, everybody remembers their first time discovering titties. I was six years old when I discovered my first pair. You played rugby and football growing up? Oh, that's well see Garf, so that's a different story, man. Back in your day, that was normal. You know, nowadays, you know, you, you gotta watch what you say because you might go to jail for offending somebody. You know, back in your day, that's when they used to raise real dudes, real men, manly men. Now we got a bunch of hipsters worried about feelings and, and whatnot. Daniel Johnson, autograph for the National Nows. That's a filler team hitting like they do. That's nice. Eric Lauer to 150. Padres. I will admit, though, so, you know, if you're looking for a contact sport, soccer's not it. Not yet, Josh. Not yet. Dude, you might, you might want to take a nap, though, because <laughs> we're only, what is this, box... Box three? Not even halfway through. Sam Hilliard. Autograph for the Rockies. By the way, uh, Garster, you served in the military, dude? What branch? Lacrosse is another good sport. But, you know, I've seen some lacrosse injuries. That's just no joke either. You know, my whole thing with football though is that that head damage, man. You guys know you guys know the deal. You know, when I when I was in high school, man, I used to play hot uh sock, I mean football until I got fucking the shit knocked out of me and I got a concussion and I don't remember the rest of that day. So I, you know, that's not for me. Oh, Garfster, well, listen, man, let me take this time out to thank you for your service, Garfster. Appreciate you for your service, man. Uh, I'm sure you guys don't get, it's probably a thankless job. So, from Uncle Jesse and everyone else here in the room, thank you for your service in the military, man. Really appreciate it. For vaginas like me, who don't want to go to war and shit.
So your son would rather collect Pokemon and kick soccer balls than watch a football game? <laughs> well, I can't say that I, I, I would disagree because, you know, when I was his age, I was... Well, I wasn't collecting Pokemon cards. I mean, I kind of was. I was more so stealing them. But I would also kick soccer balls. But I would also, you know, play football. I don't know. I'm a weird kid. I'm a nerd, but I'm also into, like, hood rat shit. Like, you could find me playing a Pokemon game... But if you catch me in the streets, you're probably going to walk the other direction. The benefits of being Uncle Jesse. I mean, Pokemon's cool, I guess. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Pokemon at all. It's a 150 Eloy of the White Sox. Especially Garfster. Watch when he starts flipping those Pokemon cards for some moolah, dog. Well, Garfster, you can always put the hammer down and be like, No, you little fucker. You ever try that? My mom my mom did it to me all the time. Hey, Mom, could I have that? She will just look at me. And that's the last time I asked for anything. Now, if I want something, I just go, you know, behind the dumpster offering HJs and make my money that way. Arthur, next time you... Next time you catch me in the streets, you owe me twenty dollars, Arthur. You you left without paying last time. <coughs> For the Reds, Jackson Stevens to four ninety nine. He's still a kid, Garster. He's still a kid. He'll grow out of it. Probably once he gets to high school. So you're gonna have to deal with this little uh, this little phase for like another four or five years. <coughs> <coughs> we got the joke's over, Arthur. Forget about it. If you caught it, you caught it. If you did it, forget about it. To so 150, Duplantier, Young, and Banda. Atomic for the D-backs. This is true, Rara. This is true. There's also another good saying. Uh, if you can't buy it twice, you can't afford it. I think Jay-Z said that. Can I get something crazy here? Not bad. Whoops a daisy. We got see it's, it's so nice I couldn't even I couldn't even think. Greg Dykeman with the atomic for the A's number to one hundred. Super Troopers two, is it any good? I think Rara told me he's seen it. Is that any good? Beer Fest is like they sh they should have came out with the I thought they were working on a sequel to Beer Fest. Don't worry about it, Arthur. It, it wasn't that funny. It wasn't that funny. The thing about comedy is you, you can't be afraid to, to, to put yourself out there. Yeah, exactly, Ra Ra. But they never came out with it. But let me ask you though, did you go to did you go see Super Trooper under the influence of uh you know what I'm saying? Otani Angels Base. Beer Fest is a funny funny movie. Slept on. Evan White to 125 Mariners. Oh man, I love a movie with some good quotes in it. Like half of my vocabulary with my friends is straight like movie quotes. Like if you don't enjoy watching movies and you don't enjoy watching movies for like 
this watching the same movie three, four, five times just so you can get like all the juice out of it, then we can't be friends. I quote movies way too much. All right. Three down so far. Got another five left. You know, I've never seen that movie, Snakes on a Plane. Never seen it. Oh, dude, Kenny Power quotes all day long. That guy is like a walking encyclopedia of quotes. Gotta see snakes on a plane. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm gonna do all that. Did you guys ever see, it's it's a movie where there's like, Will Ferrell's in it, I think it's called The Goods, where the guy, where the guy from uh, Entourage, Ari, is in it, and Will Ferrell's in it too, and they, like, the movie in and of itself is not the most funny, but there is a scene with Will Ferrell, of course, and it's fucking hilarious. Napoleon Dynamite is one of those movies that I could like watch forever and not and not get tired of. The Goods, isn't that what it's called? The Goods? That's what I thought. Kevin Lear's got a nice little lead on the uh, Pacers there. Have I ever seen basketball? Is that, I'm pretty sure that's what you mean, basketball, not, not basketball. Pineapple Express, of course, a great movie. You ever see that movie? It's, it's a movie called Basketball. Let's see what we got here. Box number four. Where we go. All right. Come on, baby. Mm, no. Drew Ellis to four ninety nine. Diamondbacks. Oh, 
Tiny Paper. Yeah, Basketball is a pretty funny movie. Those are the... I think that movie was from the guys that made South Park. I haven't seen South Park in forever. Jack Flaherty to four ninety nine dollars for the Cardinals. There you go. I mean, I hope the Cardinals make a comeback here and eliminate the, the Cavaliers. It would be so funny to see LeBron get eliminated in the first round. That would be hilarious. I mean, I have nothing against the guy. I just want to laugh. And that would make me laugh. <clears throat> they still do South Park? I haven't seen that shit since I was, like, in high school. Even before then. I think I stopped watching South Park when I was, like, in middle school. Like, 15 years ago. Wow, I was 15. Damn. Getting old. Getting old. Aging like fine wine, though. Team America, I don't see the only the only thing I like about Team America is like there's a little quote on there about dicks, assholes, and vaginas or whatever. That's like the realest shit I ever heard in my life. That one scene alone makes up for the rest of that movie. Because that movie, if I remember correctly, was kind of crappy. That, and I'm kind of like, I don't want to say I'm scared, but I'm definitely freaked out by, like, puppets and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Kbert Ruiz. First Bowman Auto for the Dodgers, numbered to four ninety nine. I want to watch Super Troopers 2. Ooh, Avengers is coming out this week. There it is, Michael. Exactly. Exactly. That's that's the one. And that's some real shit. Avengers coming out on Friday. Anybody looking forward to, to that? Some of you guys probably already bought your tickets like weeks in advance. Which to me is crazy. Because I'm gonna show up on Friday like yep, let me let me let me get my ticket. <clears throat> Blake Rutherford to four ninety nine, White Sox. I don't know. I'm not scared of puppets. They just they freak me out. Puppets, dolls, all that stuff. Not not a fan. Uh, Deadpool two hopefully is gonna be good. I'm glad that they didn't put like the PG thirteen thing on it. You know what I mean? Deadpool gotta be rated R. There's an, yet another Otani base card. We need some ink on the Otani. Yu Ching Chang to 50 for the Indians. Oh hell no, Michael! That's I would have I I would have burnt that shit down. Eric Pardino, autograph for the Blue Jays. All right, some teams that did not get autographs in the first case starting to come around. And was that Oladipo got his ankles broke just now? J.R. Smith, I see you, dog. The long way to Bowman. Come on. Where the Supers at? Where the Reds at? Where's the greatness? I need to see it. I think there's like a scary movie with a doll in it. And I'm not talking about Chucky. Uh, Annabelle, I think is the name of the movie. Uh, 
I ain't watching that shit. Cause that's like on a like based on a true story. Which I don't know like how <laughs> like how true those stories are are exactly what they're basing them on of. But like anytime there's a scary movie and it's like, oh, based on a true story, I automatically don't want to watch it. Charlie Black with a 250 Rockies. Like if they said, yo, Freddy Krueger based on a true story, which I think it kind of was based on a true story. But I didn't know that growing up, so like that shit did not phase me at all. Jason Voorhees, if they was like, yo, based on a true story, I would be shitting my brains out. What? There's a dude out here in a hockey mask and a machete just murking people because they trying to have sex? Oh, no. I'd still be a virgin. I'd be four at you in it right now. You know what's one scary movie I never really understood? Leprechaun. Like, in theory, okay, I kind of get it. He could wish, like, for all types of craziness. But I'll punt that little motherfucker. Pedro Avila, the 125, for the pod. Like, I remember there was one, like, there was one they did where, like, oh, Leprechaun goes to the hood. That shit was so funny. Because <laughs> nobody was scared of him. <laughs> Dude, I remember when I first saw The Exorcist as a kid. I swear to God, like, that shit scared the fuck out of me when that movie first came out. And then I seen it recently, and it's pretty hilarious. Like, you ever you ever go back and watch movies that you saw as a child or whatever, and then watch them again now as an adult? At least for me, scary movies, not so scary. And some movies are just terrible. Like, some movies that are, like, were the shit when I was little. Like, one of my favorite movies growing up used to be Independence Day. One, because I had it on VHS. And I didn't have, like, cable TV. So I would watch, like, a lot of movies on VHS and stuff. Like, I'd go to the library and stuff like that. And I remember I had Independence Day. And that was, like, one of my favorite movies. Like, I would watch that shit all the time. I tried watching that again the other day. Bro, the graphics and shit, terrible. Terrible. Poltergeist wasn't too scary, but you know what really fucked with me? Pinhead. I forget what the name of that. Hellraiser. Oh, man. I watched the Hellraiser movie, like, not too long ago. And it's not that it's scary, it's just, like, off-putting. Like, the gore and things like that. Event Horizon is a pretty good movie. If you like to be scared. There's a movie now on Netflix that's supposed to be really scary. I just can't think 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 of it though. It's a it's an Italian or a Spanish movie. I think it's I think it's called Valentina or Catalina, something like that. It's supposed to be like I follow a blog or something. You know, and, and it tells me, like, oh, these are, like, good scary movies or, like, these are good action movies or whatever coming out on Netflix. Because, you know, Netflix, they, they have, like, a rotation of, of, like, they take things in out of their library at all times. So they told me, oh, you know, watch this movie, Catalina or Valentina. It's a scary movie. I have yet to watch it. Um, but there's this other one called Raw about this. Ooh, Mario, you might like this one. It's this movie called Raw, uh, where she's a vegan, and then, like, she's trying to get into some fraternity in college, and they force her to, like, eat meat, and then she turns from a vegan into, like, a flesh-eating cannibal. 
it's it's supposed to be like a really scary movie. You might enjoy that. Show it to Julie. Boom. All right. Anyways, <clears throat> yo, I would I would not dare watch anything on shrooms. Luis Escobar pirates autograph. You know, space is scary, dog. Space is scary. Uh, the it's the you mean, you mean the one that I was talking about just now? It's a movie called Raw. It should still be on Netflix. It's about this girl who's a vegan and she gets to college to like study some vegan shit or something like that. And then she tries to get into this fraternity or in her case a sorority, I guess would be the correct verbiage. And they force her to like eat flesh. And I think they trick her. They're like, oh, you just ate, like, you know, a human being or something. And I haven't seen the movie. I'm just telling you, like, the synopsis of it or of it or whatever. And then she goes from being a vegan to eating people. Like, how does that happen? I kind of need to watch that movie. Uh, Boba Shea to 150 for the Blue Jays, followed by Josh Lowe to 150 for the Rays. But the name of the movie is, is called Raw. There's, there's this other movie that I heard is really, like, not scary, but, like, off-putting. I think it's called Antichrist with Willem Dafoe. And they're, like, they're, they're, they're in a cabin or some shit in the woods. First of all, if you're in the woods, it's already not a good, not, not a good plot. But if you're in a cabin in the woods, oh, shit's going to go down. But I hear that's another really good one. You know, we're currently watching a horror show right now in this Bowman number two. We need to turn this thing around. This shit is scaring me. Where are the hits at? Where are the Otanis? Where's the greatness? I needs it. My people needs it. Blake Rutherford, 250 for the White Sox. I agree, man. A good scary movie is definitely hard to find these days. Especially for me, because I, you know, I enjoy scary movies. I, what I don't enjoy, though, is, like, going to, like, Universal Horror Nights or whatever the hell. Like, that I never understood. Like, I can understand watching a scary movie. I never understood why people would, like, perp like want to go into a haunted house. Mike Trout to 250 for the Angels. Jim. Let's get let's still got three boxes to go. So I'm hoping for greatness. Hopefully we can turn this thing from a horror movie to uh to a nice romantic comedy. Starring Uncle Jesse and the rest of y'all. Spencer Howard of the Phillies. Autograph. You feel me, Michael? And that's a thing, apparently. Like, my friends are always trying to tell me to go, Oh, dude, are you going to this year's, uh, you know, Halloween Horror Nights? Like, for why? So some dude could try to scare me and I can't even punch him in the face? Yeah, no, thank you. Because that's like, that's my reflex. You scare me, you're going to get punched in the face. Or somewhere. Just natural bodily reaction. I, you know, I was trained in the ways of the ninja. So don't sneak up on me, because I will karate chop you. Alright, where's the hotness, baby? Where's the hot news? Jazz in Oklahoma about to tip off. Oh, wait. They're Jazz about to finish off the Thunder? Oh, snap. What's the, uh, what's, what's the score on that? I need the last Samurai right about now. What is little-ass Tom Cruise going to help me with?
Come on, baby. There's an old tiny paper base. Oh, it hasn't started yet. Oh, I was about to say. Damn, for real? They about to get eliminated already? Pacers making a comeback on the Cavaliers here. Trying to go up 3-2. Mike Shawarin of the Red Sox. That is numbered to 150. Boom. You know, my thing with Russell Westbrook, bro, I think Russell Westbrook is, I don't want to say he's overrated, but I'm going to go ahead and say he's overrated. Oh, my God, Steven. If they go at $15 a pop, do the math. That's, that's a lot of base. Last stack. Jojo Romero, 75 for the Phillies. Now, the reason why I say he's he's like overrated, Russell Westbrook, is because like I feel like he's just a, like a stat whore. Like he just goes, like the last game of the season, he literally went out to grab 20-something rebounds. He was out-rebounding re his own team just so he could get the triple-double record. Like, that to me, like, if you were really a leader and you were really trying to win, you don't care about stats. You just go out there and do what you need to do. And I, I don't know, man. I feel like Russell Westbrook is just balling just for the stats. He's going to be one of those really good players that doesn't win shit. And I hope he proves me wrong. Exactly, Michael. Like, he's he's comfortable being known as the dude that can average a triple dub. But I don't, I don't see too many guys that want to play with Russell Westbrook. I don't know. I hope he proves me wrong one of these days. But I, I really feel like he's just a stats whore. Like, he just wants to go out there and put up big numbers. Win or lose, he doesn't care. He got his. Man, could you imagine Denver with Donovan Mitchell and Jokic balling out there? Jazz got a nice team. Like, Jazz got a nice, nice, complete team. You, Michael, damn. Russell Westbrook going to be remembered like Gilbert Arenas? Ah. I got to say, that's pretty accurate. That's pretty accurate. Man, Gilbert Arenas. Whatever happened to that guy? You know, ever since he had like that one little dispute about a gun, it was kind of a wrap for him after that. All right, Otani. I have summoned thee. I need greatness to happen here. I really need all teams to have greatness here. I see all the depots on the ground and LeBron standing over him like, who? Oh, here comes the replay. That's, that's just LeBron being LeBron. All right, here we go. Time to turn the heat up, Bowman. Time to turn the heat up. There's an Otani paper base.
You know how it is, Steven. You know they gotta protect them. They gotta protect the uh, the goods. Mike Soroka to four ninety nine Braves. Now there's a reason Kevin Durant left Russell Westbrook, dude. And nobody's talking about it. Everybody was saying, oh, Kevin Durant's this, Kevin Durant's that, Kevin Durant. You know what I mean? Like, nobody ever stopped to think about, well, maybe it's Russell Westbrook. You know what I mean? Ooh, that is a good card. Oh, that is nice. Shout-outs to the Yankees. My man just got called up. Number 38 out of 50, Glay Bear Taurus. It's a good card. That's a good card. About time. We got a little sexy. That's nice. All right, all right. See what else we can get. Man, for real, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant on the same team. You know, I don't think that would have worked out anyway, man. Both of the, all three of those players need the ball. Maybe not so much Durant, but James Harden and Russell Westbrook definitely need the ball in their hands to be successful. Will Craig the 499 Pirates. So that that was gonna be blown up regardless. They probably should got they probably should have got more for James Harden and Kevin Durant, but that's you know, that's a different story. Right, we got the Glade Bear. Now we got to keep the hot box rolling. I feel you, Edgar, but not many players can actually do that. You know what I mean? In today's NBA, it's all about, you know, building that super team. Jojo Romero, autograph for the Phillies. That's number to 499. Like, dude, the first year of the, the big three experiment, LeBron, Chris Bosh, D. Wade, we got our asses whooped by the Mavericks. And that team had no business beating the Heat. And they did it anyway. So, you know, you can have as many All-Stars on your team as you want. There's only one basketball at the end of the day. LeBron should have never left Miami. He'd be he'd be chilling right now, getting ready for the second round. Victor Robles would be nice. Still missing an autograph. Oh, 
Another Romero. Wow. Two Romero autos in this box. Come on, Bowman. A channel burning cards. That'd be awesome. What's up, Lucas? Yeah, I got it in there for you, man. Go ahead and pick up your teams. That product comes out on Friday, my man. Yeah, Jojo Romero got a pretty mean stash. DJ Stewart to 125 Orioles. So those mittens are just, is that just a thing now in baseball? We wear mittens instead of gloves. Another Otani paper base. Yeah, Lucas, we got a PYT listed in, on, on our website already. Uh, a few teams have been taken, uh, Brazil being one of them. But yeah, man, do your research, baby. That comes out on Friday. All right, two boxes left. All righty. Mittens? Mittens? How do you say mittens? I say mittens. Mittens, mittens. What, what's what's the correct, the corrupt? What's the correct pronunciation on that? Don't want to slide and dislocate fingers? Eh, I, I guess. Remember when men were real men sliding into whatever base with no mittens on? Well, that's what they look like, Mike. Little, 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 little wee little mittens. Little wee little mittens. You know what I'm saying? Little kitten mittens, exactly. Ex little kitten mittens. I love that show so much. I swear to God. Oh, it's always sunny. They need to come out with a new season. Is what they need to do. Meow. Kitten mittens. Hell's yeah, dog. Little, little kitten mittens. Alright. Enough. Enough of this malarkey. It's time to heat up. Meow. I love that show so much. Oh, God. Like, they got to make a new season, especially since the Eagles won the the, the Super Bowl. They got to make, they got to make an episode. Oh, Brew Crew coming right up. Followed by an Otani. Just one Otani auto. Just one. Just one. See what we got. Well, probably we got too many there. See what we got.
little tiny paper. Kevin Newman to 125 Pirates. Eric Pardino. Autograph for the Blue Jays. That's number to four ninety nine. First auto here. Need two more. Come on. At least one Otani auto for my boy. Come on now. Michael Michelle Baez to 150 Padres. Another Otani base, Angels. Pacers are starting to give it away. They had a chance there. Kyle Young to four ninety nine Phillies. Dice back there. Nice! An atomic rookie auto for Victor Robles. Number to 100. That's a nice card. That is a nice card. Very nice. What else we got? There you go, Tomas. Filler teams, man. Filler teams be hitting. Willie Calhoun to 150 Rangers. Uh, Zuki, the next Bowman break. Uh, if you mean, uh, well, right now what we're doing is a store break uh, from our website, ripcitycards.com. Uh, I do have more cases of this listed, um, but we don't break anything on our website until all spots are taken, Zuki. So if you're interested, check out our website, ripcitycards.com. If your team is still available in a pick your team case, go ahead and pick your team. Uh, not to mention, before you do that, register for an account so you can save $15 off your first purchase. That discount code will get emailed to you, but you got to register first. We do have a Bowman break for eBay, uh, but that's not until probably 1 in the morning. Our eBay breaks start at midnight. Christian pa Pache Posh for the Braves. Autograph. First Bowman auto. 
Not bad, not bad. Right. And now it has come down to this last deck. Took it to Sant to 250 for the Braves. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Tomas giving me the spoiler, but I don't even care. As long as it's not about my team, I don't mind spoilers. Spoiler alert, that's it for this box. Got one box left. Uno mas. Man, LeBron taking a bad shot. What are you doing? I like how I like how LeBron drives to the basket and then right when he's at the basket, he takes a few dribbles and he goes away. Last box mojo. Yeah, Steven. It has not been the greatest. I will say this. It, it's better. It was better than the first one. First case was a little a little ugh. In this one, there's been a couple pretty good ones. And hopefully the last box here, the case, is straight fuego. Hot box time. Right, the Robles and the Glay Bear are by and large the best cards so far. Uh, unless this box has something to say about that. Glaber Torres, six one two breakers. Jim, I am summoning all my powers your way, my man. Man, the Cavs can't make a bucket here. Uh, yes, there was a Glaber Torres autograph, six one two. I can only assume your name is Jonathan. Is it maybe? But yeah, Steven, I, uh, yes, you are absolutely correct. Still pretty weak. Let's see what's in this uh, last box mojo here. Good luck, everybody. Especially the Angels. Uh, no problem, 612. I'm about to do a recap here once I'm done with the, with the break. Uh, so you can see for yourself. Corbin Burns to 125 for the Brewers. And I still have to do the $100 giveaway, too. What are we going to get? Sandro Fabian, autograph for the Giants. There you go, Giants with a hit. Yeah, where I'm at right now with the Pacers Cavs game, it's a tie game. Tied up at 95 with about 34 seconds left to go. And the Cavs got the ball. Come on, Otani. Make me look good. Come on. Oh, 
boy. There you go, Dodgers. Jaron Kendall. Autograph. Dodgers coming out to play. One more auto to go. One more auto to go. That should be Kev that should be Pacers ball. LeBron hit that thing last. Pacers got a shot to win this thing. At least where I might. LeBron hit a three for the win. Oh man. Oh man. Can't wait to see that on my end. There's an Otani paper base for the Angels. Man, I am behind on the stream here. So that's it. Game over. Cavaliers won. On a walk-off three from LeBron and James. Kyle Cody, Rangers to 499. Wow, Oladipo denied at the rim by LeBron. LeBron really about to hit that three? That would be crazy. There's a gold auto. Sam Hilliard of the Rockies is the gold auto. And that is the third autograph out of the box. Hopefully they threw in an extra one. There you go, Rockies. Sam Hilliard numbered to 50 for the Rockies. Filler teams be hitting. Filler teams be hitting. You know, tiny paper for the Angels. Please, oh sweet baby Jesus, let them sneak in an Otani auto here. Stack Mojo. Man, LeBron really did hit that three, huh? Good for the Cavs. Aaron Judge to 499 for the Yankees. LeBron hits a game winning three. They are now in control of the series. Justice Sheffield to 499 Yankees. LeBron, if I was you, dog, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too happy right now, bro. You gotta put up 40, 50 points to barely beat the Pacers, dog. You're gonna have some trouble the the deeper you get into the playoffs, buddy. See head co if this was Kobe or, or Michael, they just would have walked off the court. They expect to do that. But not LeBron. LeBron's a fucking diva. 
Anyways, recap time. Uh, but before I do the recap, actually, let me go ahead and grab the names here. So we can go ahead and do a little uh, $100 giveaway mojo. So let's take that down. Go over to randomizer. Put the teams down. Let's roll the die. See what we can get. We're going to go four times in the randomizer. Four times in the randomizer. That's not it. There it is. Top name wins a hundred dollar break credit. Good luck, everybody. Especially you, Jim. Here we go. And that's in a hobby, Tomas. That's that's hobby. Imagine jumbo. Money shot four. Boom. Sorry, Jim. Steven, did you just one shot that? Yeah, you did. Wow. That is ridiculous. My man Steven P is going to be receiving a $100 break credit. I will email that to you, my man. Congrats to you. And recap time. Autographs. We got Sam Hilliard, Rockies. Jaron Kendall, Dodgers. Sandro Fabian, Giants. Christian Pash, Braves. Eric Padino, Blue Jays. Uh, Jojo Romero Phillies, Jojo Romero Phillies, Mike Showarin, Red Sox, well there you go Steven, uh, Spencer Howard, Phillies, Luis Escobar, Pirates, Eric Pardino, Blue Jays, Caber Ruiz, Dodgers, Jack Flaherty, Cardinals, Greg Dykeman, A's, Sam Hilliard, Rockies, Daniel Johnson, Nationals, Ahmed Rosario, Mets, Joey Wentz, Braves, Brendan McKay, Rays, Jose Adales Garcia, Cardinals, Matt Sauer, Yankees, Matt Sauer, Yankees, Glaber Torres, Yankees, and Victor Robles, Nationals. And that was the break, y'all. 2018 Bowman Jumbo, full case PYT number two. Thank you very much. We'll get this out to you.